Judy, the victim was simply driving home from work when he came across a group trying to break into this car behind us. You can see the passenger side back door is still busted out with the window damaged. He tried to intervene and that's when he was shot. He was someone who people cared about immensely and he has left us completely broken. Stepping in to do what's right. He had the rest of his life to live. Ended with Salvador Herrera ripped away from his family and loved ones. He was always helping everyone and that's how he died. The 42 year old was on his way home from work early this morning when neighbors tell us he stopped near Loomis and Florinor on the near west side after he saw a group breaking into a Hyundai. He was still in his car when he tried to intervene. Investigators say he was shot in his back and later found by police on patrol. His family tells me he wasn't discovered until an hour after shots were fired. He later died at Stroger Hospital. That completely angers me because he might not have had a chance to make it because we needed him. You can see the, the glasses and everything, the broken window. It was Alan Markovich's car the group tried to steal. You can see here how they rip out everything. He tells me this is the second time since July his car was broken into in this exact spot. He was inside of his apartment when he heard the shots but was too frightened to come outside. He's calling on city leaders to address the ongoing crime. Apparently, you know, if you try to do something good, um, unfortunately, you end up like that. So I think this man owes apology from uh, the whole city, not just me. Herrera's family tells me he began working at Butterfield Country Club in Oak Brook when he was 14 years old to help take care of his family after their father died. Now his sisters are forced to do the same, carrying heavy hearts while eager to find some closure only justice could bring. Because I refuse that my brother will be one more statistic. He is not going to be one. We will make sure of that. Now, a witness told investigators that they saw at least four people running away from the scene after shots were fired. So far, police say no one is in custody. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.